Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the laws of Kashrus of Rabbi Yamin Forst. We finished speaking about Chol of Yisrael, the milk of a Jew or a non-Jew. Now we're going to speak about Din Chemas Nochrim. What about butter that is made by a non-Jew? Le'asu Chazal ala Chol of Akum Kemoshu. Chazal only prohibited us from drinking the milk of a non-Jew as it is. However, butter is not included in the gezerah in the decree of non-Jewish milk. You don't have to worry that the non-Jew ended up mixing in uh, the milk of a non-kosher animal into the making of, of the butter. Because if you have the milk of a behemoth to me, of a non kosher animal, it is not aimed, it will not stand, meaning it will not get hard like butter. It's an interesting scientific fact he's bringing down over here. Cow's milk, lamb's milk, goat milk, kosher animal milk, that you could go put through the process of making it and churning it into butter and it will become hard. However, the milk that you find from the non kosher animals doesn't have that quality, and therefore it must be that if you have butter, it must have come from a kosher animal. The Yev Shalas says, Menachem, you cannot make butter from the tray from the non-kosher, non-pure animals. Okay, and therefore, Nachri Aretz Shalas says, Chema, if you have a goy that wants to make chema, to make butter, Vanden lo ya'arev chalav tamay b'seicha chalav. He himself, if he's making butter for himself, he is not going to add in the non-kosher animal milk. And therefore, the first opinion in halacha is that it's obvious that the butter of a non-Jew is going to be mutter, it's going to be permissible because you have nothing at all to worry about over there. It can't be that there's any non-kosher animal milk inside. Ulam, however, However, there are those ga'inim earlier generations who asked, who prohibited eating the butter of a goy, because they are concerned, maybe this non-Jew originally wanted to drink the milk. And he mixed in a little bit of milk from an animal that's not kosher. And then after he milked the animals and put the milk together, the kosher and the non-kosher milk, he changed his mind. He said, you know what? I feel like making butter out of this bucket of milk. And then maybe a little bit of the non-kosher milk is going to remain inside of the butter. And since it's a small amount, it would still be, the butter would still be, or the milk would still be able to congeal and be turned into butter. So there's a chashash, there's a concern that there actually is perhaps some non-kosher milk that's in this butter, and therefore those ga'inim would say that a person should not eat chema, should not eat butter unless he knows that it was made for sh- that it was made chal of Yisrael. L'chein, therefore, yesh mekoyma shenagu le'asar chemas akum, there are places that say the butter of a non-Jew is also you can't eat it. V'yesh gam mekoyma shenagu la'atira, and there are places that say, no, 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 it's fine, you have nothing really to worry about. Mashma medivei achrenim, it it, it sounds like, meaning we can, in, we can understand from the words of the Akhrenim, the later halachic commentators, Shem Levnim, Hayyunayim, Berevi, Makam, Zanasu, Chem, Zakam. Early in the earlier generations, it seems that it was pretty standard to prohibit the butter of a non Jew. However, if you are in a place where there is no Messar, there is no uh, tradition that goes from one generation to the next. Then you would be allowed to eat chemas akum. You could eat the butter of the of the non-Jew. Iyer chadasha, but if you live in a new city, shein la mina kavua baza, and it doesn't have a particular custom in this area. Im roiv anashah ba mimakum shenogu leaser chemas akum. If the majority of the people that moved to this town came from a city where they would, in general, aser. They would prohibit having the butter of a non-Jew. Then it has the uh, status of a city 
that doesn't eat chemas akum, the butter of a non-Jew, and therefore you would not be allowed to eat it in that town. There's a little bit more to see over here, which we'll conclude tomorrow, Be'ez Hashem. But Lemaise, at this point, what he is saying is that the chashash, the concern that we have in the butter of a non-Jew, is not the same concern that we would have in the milk of a non-Jew. And therefore, there are prevailing opinions that say that the butter of a non-Jew is not going to be a problem at all. However, we're not done yet. We'll see what the prevailing minag is going to be when it comes to those that are makpid, that are strict on Chol of Yisrael, if they should also be strict in the area of, of Chemas Yisrael, should their butter also have an insignia that says that this is made from Chol of Yisrael milk. We will see tomorrow, Be'ez Hashem. Have a wonderful day.